the Philippines is undergoing a transformational change. We are building a stronger economy, primed for a prolonged period of rapid inclusive growth. We are breaking away from the boom and bust cycles of the past. We are setting our sights on improving the stature of the Philippines in the international community of nations. We are reaching for investment grade through good economic governance. Our firm commitment to good economic governance backed by reforms, coordination and teamwork are starting to produce results. The Philippine economy is moving from strength to strength. During the first six months of this year, the country posted a healthy, sustained and inclusive growth. The BSP contributed in several ways to the positive performance of the economy in the first half of this year. We've been able to effectively cope with the increased capital inflows. We've been able to take advantage of foreign exchange inflows to further strengthen the Philippines' external payments position. Our GIR, or Gross International Reserves, are at a historical high at more than 75 billion US dollars. We have ensured that the financial system remains sound and is able to continue supporting the financing and liquidity requirements of the economy. While some countries tumbled amid the backdrop of global economic turbulence, the engines of the Philippine economy continued to work. Well, the Philippine economy actually grew by 4% during the first half of the year. This can be traced to the strong growth in industry and in services, and especially because of the strong rebound in agriculture, fisheries, and forestry. In the second half of 2011, we expect the growth rate to be higher even than that in the first half. Consumption we expect will remain strong. Investments will continue to be as strong as it has been and maybe even better. The investment approvals of the investment promotion agencies went up by 50% uh, compared to 2010 as of the end of August this year. Ang pinakamalaki pong kontribusyon ng kagawaran ng agrikultura sa unang semestre ng ating taon ay ang pagtatala po ng pinakamataas na ani ng palay at saka mais sa ating pong bansa. Tayo po ay nakatala na pinakamataas na pag-aani. At ito po ay pagpapatunay na kaya po natin talaga na ma-attain yung pong ating pinapangarap na we will be self-sufficient in rice after 2013. The government continues to empower the private sector through reforms aimed at creating conditions conducive to growth and competitiveness. The Philippines is tracking ahead of its targets for this year because we have reached 61% of our tourist arrivals uh, target as of July. Also, the good news is that our policy on pocket open skies has reaped early rewards. There are many new regional airlines, budget airlines from India, China, and other neighboring countries who have availed of this. Well, for the second half of this year, there will be a very special focus on the improvement and renovation of our international airports and alternate international airports, as well as improvements in our secondary airports, most especially areas like uh, Boracay and Bohol. We are very happy to report that we have survived the first half of this year without a single power shortage in any of the grids. The reason for this is because we were able to efficiently plan out and structure the generation capacities across all the grids. We are very happy to the private sector that has come out in support of these initiatives. The other major achievement we have done this year is the fact that during the very recent Philippine energy contracting round, we have over 140 international players in oil and gas exploration that have come and aggressively expressed their interest to join. All these sustained and visible efforts have resulted in improvements in the country's competitiveness and credit worthiness. Investor confidence also was reflected in the recently released World Economic Forum survey wherein we went up 10 notches from the 85th place to 75th place. Over the past uh, 14 months, we've had four credit rating upgrades, which attest the credit rating agencies and are supporting the fiscal path that we've uh, set for the Philippines. 
Our firm commitment to fiscal consolidation has proven to be credit positive for the Philippines. The target is to have a deficit of 2% of uh, GDP by the end of uh, 2013. This year our target is 3% of GDP. So far in the first uh, six months, revenues have been up close to 14% in an economy that only grew 4% because of global economic conditions. Just on administrative uh, efficiency measures, our uh, tax uh, agencies, uh, the Bureau of Customs and the Bureau of Internal Revenue, were able to squeeze out close to $2 billion more in additional collections. As a result, our uh, debt to GDP has gone down to 51% to GDP. And if you net out the holdings of our uh, uh, government uh, agencies of Philippine debt, the real debt to GDP of the Philippines is actually 42%, uh, uh, percent, which is very close to its uh, peer uh, countries. In fact, when you look at the uh, foreign debt to GDP of the Philippines, it's down to 29%. Uh, our goal is to bring this down to uh, 20%. We are relentlessly pursuing fiscal reforms aimed at increasing revenue collections. To uh, improve our uh, revenue uh, effort, we're addressing key uh, areas. Uh, first is to expand our tax uh, base. We also are sending the right signals to the marketplace by continuing to file against uh, erring taxpayers and uh, smugglers. We're also investing in uh, the revenue generating agencies, investing in infrastructure, uh, in IT, in our people, in the processes. We're about to uh, test our uh, uh, national single uh, window, which should make it easy for our importers uh, to uh, get permits from over 40 agencies. We're working closely with Congress to uh, pass a fiscal incentives rationalization uh, uh, bill. We're also looking at uh, updating our uh, syntax uh, law. We are institutionalizing the responsible and efficient use of public resources. We also made sure that uh, we implemented the policy of uh, uh, performance-based uh, budgeting. We required agencies to present to us uh, outputs and outcomes so we know for every peso we spend, what benefit it gives to our people. We also adopted measures that will allow us to uh, promote greater transparency and accountability in the use of public funds. The process of digitization is allowing us opportunity to implement projects with the minimum of uh, human uh, intervention. As we build up our capabilities and aim for investment grade, good economic governance transparency, accountability, and citizen involvement are key. At the heart of uh, the Aquino government philosophy is that good governance is good economics. Good governance results to more confidence of the business sector. When they have more confidence, they will invest more. The Republic has laid out a plan to achieve rapid, inclusive growth. In the Philippine Development Plan, we actually have several programs and trusts that we feel will make us more competitive. We will continue to work on a massive infrastructure investment program to ensure that there is support for all of the initiatives that we will have. We will work on bringing down the cost of doing business and therefore improving the business environment. We are creating jobs. We are empowering people and providing them opportunities to rise above poverty. What is uh, very important to do is really to put the employment to the countryside. And therefore we will put a lot of emphasis on SMEs and SME development and putting a lot of uh, businesses, pos possible businesses in the countryside. That's why we are trying to push very hard on tourism services, on agribusiness, and also a lot of other small and medium enterprise type of uh, businesses. Tourism development revolves around what we call a cluster strategy, or creating clusters of touristic uh, areas or zones that are situated around major international and regional gateways. This is our primary approach for the coming years. We are ensuring that our macroeconomic fundamentals remain strong. 
and promoting a responsive banking system, generating more growth opportunities in the cities and in the countryside. We are committed to providing an environment conducive to sustained growth, where prices are low and stable, where the banking sector is sound, responsive and inclusive, where the payments and settlement system is safe, efficient and reliable, and where most Filipinos know how to save, invest, and grow their money. If we succeed, growth will be truly broader-based in the Philippines, not just in the urban centers, but in the countryside as well. Good economic governance is paving the way for more fruitful collaboration between the public and private sector, between local and foreign investors. We have launched a PPP uh, program that will uh, invite uh, private sector capital, expertise, technology to help us invest in our infrastructure. We want to make sure that the first few projects that we launch will be model of uh, transparency, model of cooperation between public and private sector where the sharing of risk is fair, where it's going to be win-win both for the private sector and the public sector. What we have done is institutionalize uh, drastic reforms uh, to make sure that uh, DPWH will do the right projects at the right cost and the right quality. We have instituted uh, very competitive and transparent bidding. We have also significantly reduced our cost structure. And as a result of that, during the first quarter, we were able to achieve uh, savings of 3.5 billion pesos. When we say right quality, what we want to do is to engage, and we have engaged uh, private entities to help us in the uh, quality assurance and inspection of our projects nationwide. We are investing in infrastructure that will support the country's growth momentum and encourage more private sector investments from home and abroad. Next year, we have set aside 22 billion pesos so that the uh, government is able to pay for uh, its share of these PPP projects like uh, right-of-way payments, the necessary uh, horizontal uh, uh, infrastructure like uh, access roads to airports or land development for uh, post-harvest uh, facilities. The government is increasing investments in its main asset, the Filipino people. We are focusing on uh, projects uh, that relate to social services, for example, uh, greater investments in basic education, in more school building, in hiring of more teachers, in uh, health uh, projects, in social protection, especially for the victims of calamity. The unprecedented string of positive rating actions in the last 18 months of the Aquino administration is a testament to the country's improving economic and financial landscape. And investors are already noticing. There are opportunities in oil and gas exploration. There are opportunities in coal exploration and development. So on the upstream energy generation side, there's a lot of opportunity in resource development in the traditional technologies and more so in the renewable energy technologies. Ang ating pong basa ay kaigaygay ang paglagyan ng investment ng ating mga investor na nagagaling sa ibang bansa at sa lokal. Napakalaki po ng ating kakayanan. Mayroon po tayong mga magagaling na tao. Mayroon po tayong magagandang potential na lugar. We are confident that investors all over the world will find a new Philippines that is worthy of greater and greater investment in tourism. We are positioning ourselves. We've gone uh, a long way. And we continue to focus on getting the Philippines deeper into the virtue cycle of lower debt, lower interest uh, expense, so that there's more room for the budget in key areas such as social services and infrastructure. That is our objective, get deeper into the virtue cycle so that we attain investment grade status. We have what it takes. I believe that investment grade credit rating in the medium term is within reach. The Philippines' credit story has improved significantly and the credit rating agencies have recognized this through the recent string of upgrades. We're now one to two notches below investment grade. The BSP is committed to helping the country achieve an investment grade rating. We will work with other government agencies in ensuring that we reach this goal.
with a fortified economic story and firm commitment to good economic governance, we are moving closer to our goals of reaching investment grade, of enhancing the Philippines' attractiveness as a top-tier investment and business destination, of creating more and better opportunities for our people, of bringing us closer to every Filipino's dream of a progressive Philippines.